Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got yo man, we got um yo 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 man, we got the Fulio being ambushed situation, man. We got we got that on deck, man. We got um our rappers getting scammed, man. As you know, as we already knew, uh, we also got um uh, um what else we have over here? We got Diddy, man, Kendrick Lamar's billboards popping up all over the place. We also got uh, uh Diddy with the porn star, man. She get, um he getting sued, man, and uh, Doctor Waka Flock again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your test. Go and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. Go on and touch that too. Yo, check this out, man. Um, as you probably already heard, right? Uh, uh, surveillance footage of Julio Fulio has surfaced, okay? Now, despite the fact that every two hours, someone on his account is leaking that he's still alive and that voodoo is real and that he's a demigod, right? With videos of Chucky performing voodoo spells on a young boy. Oh, wait, I get it. I get it, okay? Um, look, 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 look. Well, first of all, first of all, take take a look at the, the, the surveillance footage that has been released um, to, uh, Take a look at the footage. That's an execution, bro. <laughs> he got shot, I bet. I wouldn't be surprised if he took made it. All right, so uh, as we said, man, on the Insta, you know, they, they keep posting that he's alive, he's alive, the demigod, a whole nine yards, okay? Fulio, we saw Fulio get murdered, all right? But the Insta said he's still alive because he a demigod, whatever whatever that is. Wait, 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 let me go look, let me go look it up. Let me go look it up what it is. Demi, 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 demigod, whatever, demigod, demi. I like to say demi, okay? Oh, like demi more, I get it. L listen, a demigod is the offspring of a god. Or a god of a lesser status. So, so his Insta says he's still alive because he's a lesser god. Then the Insta says he'll rise again. Then his Insta posts video of the Undertaker rising out of the coffin. Then it repeats how real voodoo is. Then we see the video of Chucky performing uh, the transfer of his soul into another being. Okay, the child. All right. Look, 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 look. The demon is essentially saying this. It's saying, I used Fulio. And now the same spirit that inhabited him is going to inhabit the next generation of Fulios. The spirit of Fulio, right, um, spreads fast through music just to the next generation, just, just like all the other foolishness that spreads through the media. And you think you stand a chance without the covering of God, the son, Jesus of Nazareth? You playing yourself, okay? <laughs> you like I, I didn't tune in for this. Wait a minute, now, la, 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 la. <laughs> let me say, let me say this so you can understand me, okay? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. They, they, look, my people tell me they doing voodoo on his ops, okay? Whatever it is, we know demons are behind all of this. All right. L listen, it, for those of y'all that say you don't tune in for this, let me ask you a question, real talk, so you can understand me. How many cuffs do you think I give? One. Look, I don't even give one. I can't even find one, okay? Look, look, look. I can hear the lady in my head like, the way I see it, you're lost. Sauce, uh, uh, since we talk about voodoo, can you please play me the, the lost clip? You never listen to me. Maxino, send back out of the place, I'm going to because I don't know what to tell you. Say bon Dieu merci, you can talk with me, I'm going to the last time. But I cannot pay up you right now. Because the way I see it, you lost. Look, 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 look. My people's the same, man. They essentially are trying to terrorize the people that popped them. Perhaps, perhaps. I mean, they should be terrorized already because the like like once you're dealing with once you're murdering people, there's always gonna be get back. Like people always gonna want want get back, so they should be terrorized, and may they be terrorized. You follow me all the way to the grave, okay? And and may no one hide them nor cover them neither, okay? They need to they need to turn from that. I mean, hey, look, man, I'm all for forgiveness, but you know, I'm also for the death penalty, right? <laughs> I'm definitely for the death penalty on the people that it needs to be applied to. Definitely for the death penalty, okay? Um, oh 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 oh, do you know what LVMH stands for? Put that joint in the comments below if you know what it stands for. Now, LVMH, right, controls approximately 60 subsidiaries, okay? Subsidiaries like the luxury brands Fendi, 
Givenchy, right? Mark Jacobs, Sephora, Princess Yachts, Tag Hewa, and Bulgari. Bulgari? Bulgari, whatever, okay? But this story is about the luxury brand Dior. All right, look, Italian prosecutors in Milan investigated the LVMH subsidiary Dior's use of third party suppliers in recent months. And prosecutors have stated that these companies exploited workers, surprise, surprise, to push out these bags for a small fraction of their store price. The documents examined by the authorities reported that Dior paid a supplier $57 to produce bags that retail for $2,780. That's right. Artists and rich folks have been getting finessed left and right. It's only right, right? And the artists pushing the fancy brands is just doing adverts for the damn luxury brand. <laughs> you like, but don't they make smartphones for like 120 bucks? I mean, probably, but you can make thousands with a smartphone. I certainly have. You, you follow what I'm saying, man? Look, look, for, look. For a name brand shirt, you ain't getting, look, you getting jacked. You know that, right? They just, they just get you, man. And look, you on some old, look, I gotta just, I gotta justify my purchase. But the minute you admit you was wrong, right? That's the first step to being right. That's a good thing, man. Continuing in the wrong direction doesn't make you better. It makes you look simple. You follow me? Look, I heard someone like, oh, oh, so it's all fake. <laughs> um, Nah, 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 listen, man. It, it's real. It's just people that could afford it are getting scammed. And they've been getting scammed for years thinking that they are, you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, this is it's the material that's being used. Oh, really? Think, think of this. Think of this, okay? Some of the real companies are making fakes to capitalize on the money that even a fake could generate. Remember, there are systems out here designed to take the maximum amount of dollars out of your pocket by any means necessary. And unfortunately, the more money involved, the more all kinds of deception and foul stuff are connected because of greed, the 10th commandment. But but real talk, though, these luxury brands be treating us like some crash dummies, <laughs> right? You like they treat you like a crash dummy. I don't buy that ish. Look, I can't afford that ish either, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All this time, folks thought they was better because they was rocking something European. <laughs> See, see how they, see how they, man, look, see how they run the G on you, man. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll be at over here. Let, let me see if I could, uh, then I have something else. Wait, wait, let me see what my time is looking like. All right, look, 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 look. for July, you know, it's July 4th for July 4th, right? <laughs> um, look, look, we, we don't, we don't look, let me, what is it? My, look, my niece's birthday. Okay. I call it, I don't, I don't say like, you know, say for, for independence, that's my niece's birthday. Okay. Uh, um, listen, man, Kerry, uh, the Supreme Court, Ker Kerry Washington had a message about what went down with the Supreme Court. And I think it's relatively interesting for those of y'all that got a brain. Take a listen to what she had to say. Take a listen. So yesterday, the Supreme Court ruled that the president is immune from criminal prosecution. So I'm going to say something right now that may sound extreme to you but this is not an exaggeration. Please listen to me very carefully. This decision is a blueprint for dictatorship. This decision lays the groundwork for a president to do whatever they want, whenever they want, to whomever they want. And the only thing standing in the way of that happening is you, your voice, your vote. Okay, let me explain. So according to the Supreme Court, the conservative court that was made possible by Trump's first term in office, according to that court, the president of the United States is now immune from criminal prosecution for actions he takes as a president while in office. So what does that mean? Well, as my sister from the Bronx, Justice Sonia Sotomayor explained, and I'm paraphrasing, but she said that that decision means that Trump could order the military to kill a political opponent with zero consequences. So this is how democracies in other countries have failed in recent years. It's not by wars, it's not by coups, it's through elected governments using methods to chip away at the power of the people until we have no power at all to hold those governments accountable. So if Donald Trump is reelected, there will be 
very little that we can do to stop him from using the power of the White House however he wants. There are reasons to feel frustrated with our democracy. I get it. I feel it. We have a long fight ahead of us to have this country really live up to its ideals. But this year, I am telling you, our actual freedom is on the ballot. And I am terrified that the belief that too many of us have that our votes don't matter could mean that one day in the very near future, they actually won't matter at all. Now, I'm not saying this to scare you. I want to inform you. I want to remind you of the power that you do have. Right now, it is not too late. You have power. You can share this video with friends and family and loved ones. I think voting is an act of self-love. Of self. See, what she said is um, 100% real. I know a lot of people like to block up their ears and keep out information from coming in, but that's what keeps you, like, you know what I mean? Like, uninformed, all right? See, that's why we don't really care to celebrate July 4th or like that. Because y'all don't really want it. You know what I mean? Look, look, look. It's about to be the damn hung Hunger Games out here. You know that, right? Keep effing around. The people that want to vote for Agent Orange. I almost choked on my spit. The people that want to vote for Agent Orange. Then they ain't going to be the people in the Hunger Games wearing the wigs and the lipstick. You know that, right? Look, 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 look. <laughs> Look, you had a fit when you saw that total at the grocery store and you think you're going to be at the Capitol wearing the Hunger Games lipstick and wig and a tight suit holding up a glass of champagne. Man, this clown has folks actually thinking they ain't going to be at the reaping <laughs> with tears in their eyes trying to hide their kids and hide their wives. OK, look, the reality is this. You don't know anybody that's going to be at the Capitol toasting the champagne. OK, not only do you not qualify. But you don't even know anybody that qualified to be at the Capitol in a Hunger Game wig. I would imagine, right? You got to be making approximately 358K a year to be on the side that they telling you you could be on. Think about this, man. The folks that are gonna rock them Hunger Game wigs are the same folks and artists that rock that stuff now and flex that money all up in your face, talk about how much money they have, okay? which is what a lot of these artists are doing right now. Tell me they don't money spread all up in front of you, okay? You yelling at the same damn register I'm yelling at. And you considering voting for the dude that put Supreme Court justices in place who upheld the ruling granting a president full immunity? The same, the same dude that wants police officers to be given full immunity? That's the guy you want in the spot? Let me ask you a question. Don't absolute power corrupt absolutely men? I'm shocked I even have to have this damn conversation. The justice said they want presidents to be granted full immunity so they can act boldly in his duties without fear of repercussion, okay? <laughs> Later on, listen, listen. Ain't ain't that ain't that a healthy fear to avoid recklessness? I'm not saying Biden is perfect, and I'm not saying he's done everything right, but if you got to go to the airport, right, and two drivers show up, one likes to deceive all the time and the other has dementia, but both have teams that help them, I trust the dude with the team that's more inclined to have people, people's best interest in mind as opposed to the deceiver that has a team of, uh, of a bunch of yes men. Yeah, you know I mean, you like, can we go on to the next story? You hurt my feelings. Okay, fine. Gosh. Listen, um, <laughs> let me get you all bent out of shape. You ready? It's July 4th, man. You wasn't doing nothing. You was watching a bunch of um, fireworks go off. Listen, Kendrick Lamar, uh, his, his They Not Like Us billboards have been popping up all over LA. You know what I mean? You like ain't this oversaturation at this point? Oversaturation? Ain't that what the radio has been doing, man? Oversaturating us with the bull ish. Look, I don't mind getting oversaturated with double and triple entendres and lyrics that make me have to think. Okay? But lyrics that highlight the preser look, lyrics that highlight the preservation of morals and culture, you got a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Lyrics that take purposeful claps at immoral and pedophilic behavior. Is that a word, pedophilic? I don't know if it is, okay? If it ain't, it is now, okay? Please take more claps at immoral behavior that will doom our communities and lower STD rates so our sisters could become wives and have families and our brothers could raise boys to be men. You follow me, man? Look, we don't want our sons having to choose wives that have been ran through by, by half of the ninjas in the immediate community, nor our daughters having to settle for womanizers and men that been sticking they whatchamacallits in every single sewer that they could find. I mean, come on now, okay? Look, you know, some folks see not like us about race, which it might be, but some see not like us about morals. OK, me personally, I kind of sort of feel like it's both. Uh, uh, what's my time looking like? <laughs> you like just keep going. It's, it's all good. OK, fine. 
Okay. Uh, uh, speaking of immoral, let's let's talk about your favorite. Let's um, let me go to my shout outs. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. We can't do that. We got to go to the CEO. Okay. Your favorite ex CEO, the diddler. Okay. Look, look, look. You know, you know, look, you know, the one whose Insta you was following for so long before it became uncool, even though you knew for decades what he's been up to. Okay. Former porn star Adria I'm Unique English <laughs> accuses the diddler of asking her and her boyfriend to perform oral sex on him in a sex trafficking lawsuit. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Accuses the diddler of asking? You can't ask? Now, that's wild, man. I thought that was the one thing we would at least hope he did. The bar is so low for bruh. Him asking is preferable to, to the things we suspect he does. The man is accused of asking. Hey, hey, look, do you mind? Do you mind just giving me a little... <gasps> I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I, look, look, I can't believe you asked. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, listen. Surely there's more to this story. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Let me, let me, I know I, do I have it? I, you, you do. Well, where's it at? All right, here we go. All right, boom. All right, look, let me read this. College Kid Media post TMZ reports. <laughs> college Kid said TMZ reports. Fine. Celeb source says College Kid that TMZ reports. Did he hire a former porn star to have sex with people at some of his legendary parties and threatened to blackball her and her model boyfriend if she didn't comply, according to a new lawsuit that she's filed? Adria English who says her porn stage name was I'm Unique. Uh, when I hear the name Unique, I'm like, that is so not unique, but my bad. I'm Unique, that is a unique name, way of spelling it though, O-M. I'm Unique says she is the, uh, she first met Diddy around 2004 when her boyfriend was auditioning for a Sean John modeling gig. In the documents uh, obtained by TMZ, Adria claims things got freaky with Diddy right out the gate. <laughs> Are you surprised? Uh, Adria claims her boyfriend and another model were asked to perform oral sex on Diddy in order to get the job. Damn, damn, they don't do normal job interviews anymore, man. They, they, this is the job interview. Gosh. Uh, she says her boyfriend refused. Ooh, thank goodness. But he got a second chance. Damn. He got a second chance when another Diddy associate offered him the job. As long as he got Adria to work as a go-go dancer at Diddy's upcoming white party in the Hamptons. These, them white parties, man. I know I would never trust them white parties. As soon as everything is all white, I already think that the thing is as dark as hell. <laughs> I mean, right, don't you? Uh, although she did not have sex with guests initially, she claims Diddy groomed her into sex trafficking over time. Adria claims things ratcheted up when Diddy demanded she have sex with Jacob Arabaugh, famously known as Jacob the jeweler. I guess my man was like, he want that, he need that discount. Uh, according to the suit filed by attorneys, um, she had forced sexual intercourse with him. That's horrible, man. And then was paid in a day. How many times is Soldier Boy gonna go live? Damn. My bad, I'm on Insta. Um, then uh, was paid an additional $1,000 on top of what she usually got for working Diddy's parties. Oh, so she's done this multiple times. This is horrible. Okay. Uh, what do you say? Uh, that's what I said. $1,000 is it, bro? Did, did I tell you about the, um, as long as you got a coochie, you sitting on $50 joke? My bad. It's a, it's a bad time to tell a joke when you're talking about this kind of topic. My bad. Adria claims that things got worse after that because she was passed off to other people at Diddy's parties and they too assaulted her. Adria claims she had suffered emotional trauma, including intimacy issues and painful memories as a result of the trafficking. This is horrible stuff. Real talk. Like, this is horrible stuff. You know what I mean? Um, he, he, like, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing about this, man. Uh, I saw one person in the comments said, oh, how is she a valid witness? How is she a valid? How the hell is you a valid witness? You're saying she's not a valid witness because she lies down, but you lie. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't look. You didn't lie once. You lie a lot, don't you? So that means you a liar. How the hell is you a valid witness? Okay. If she lies down a lot and you lie, how's that different? Y'all both do like stuff that you know what I'm saying that make you. You follow me? So if she, she lies down, she lies a lot or uh, lies down. She's not a valid witness. You you ain't never lied at your job, man. You like I never lied down. <laughs> Bollocks. Okay. Hey, look, I've been watching the boys. Listen, the best time for her to say something is now, man. Real talk, because 
Um, had she said it before, you, who was following the diddler on Instagram, wouldn't believe her, would you? She's a whole person, man. You know what I mean? If you feel like she's damaged goods, that don't make it right for her to be trafficked against her will. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she tried to take back her independence by going into porn. Now, um, that might not have been a right choice. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, don't further exploit her because of the choice that she made, man. You know what I'm saying? If any, look, if any time she's going to be believed, really, it's going to be now, right? Like, you know, this is like, that's, hey, look, man, I believe her 100%, okay? 100%. Her story is consistent with all the other damn stories I done heard, okay? Um, I guess she just has to provide proof, I guess. And um, witnesses are strong proofs to events that have taken place, eyewitnesses. So, I mean, all she needs is a couple of eyewitnesses, other people to corroborate the story, right? Uh... Let me go to my shoutouts real quick. Wait, 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 let me give you. Yeah, yeah, let me go to my shoutouts real quick. Okay. Didn't I have an interesting shout out? I think I did. Oh, uh, do you have it up? I'm going to get it if you just wait. Okay. All right, look. Um, shout out to. Shout out to. My bad. Hold on for a second. I know what the hell. Hold on. Damn, my incompetence got so bad I had to stop the video. Listen. Um, wait, wait, wait. Is it started? I mean, it should be. Yeah, yeah, I love, 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 love. Shout out to Evangeline Fuller. Evangeline Fuller said, love, love, love your channel every day. Hey, look, man, Evangeline, I love you for that, man. Real talk, man. That, um, you know, comments like that, that really, it really made me feel um like we're doing a good job over here, man. You know what I'm saying? Source, Source puts a lot of work into the videos and stuff like that. Um, Source puts a lot of work into uh the thumbnails. And, you know, we got to look up these stories and, and provide um, some commentary, man. So I appreciate that, Evangeline, man. I love you for that, man. Okay. Uh, okay, User. User made a very interesting statement. User said, I'm sorry. At this point, the manufacturer of the gun is the problem. Because we was talking about... I forgot what we was talking about. It said, at this point, the manufacturer of the gun is the problem. There are too many guns that makes it easier to get one, easier for people to shoot other people. I'm done with this channel. If your logic is the manufacturer has no responsibility. I, Cause I know I said something about something like that. They also said, I guess you and gossip channels like yours have no responsibility for anything you do. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I'm gossiping. <laughs> I don't think I am. I'm providing commentary on the news, okay? Providing commentary on the news. This is not, gossip is secret information. You don't know the definition of gossip? It's spreading secret information that other people don't know. All this stuff is public information, okay? Gosh, I'm just providing commentary. People, let me keep it going. I don't, don't want to disuse it. User says, so I guess you and gossip channels like yours have no responsibility for anything you do. There's other people that need to watch what they do. Good luck with that. Oh, the manufacturer of the gun is the problem. Okay, that's your argument? Listen, user, okay? Saying that there are too many guns, that's basically, it's, it's an oversimplified solution that doesn't work. You can't say that. Oh, there's just too many guns. Take away the guns. Okay? It could also be said there are too many cars. That's why so many people get killed by drunk drivers. So the car manufacturer is at fault. Take away the damn cars. Too many drownings, so the pool manufacturer is at fault. You understand? You, you follow? You see in the logic? Too many overdoses, drug manufacturers are at fault. Distracted driving deaths, uh, uh, what is it? Smartphone manufacturers are at fault. Too many people fell to their death. Man, get rid of the damn ladders in the buildings. Too many assaults. Man, we got to get rid of the freaking tools and the hammers. Too much arson. Man, we need to, yo, you know who needs to be held accountable? The, the manufacturers of the lighters. Is the issue is not too many of the of the of the object or method of murder? Okay, it's like the same people that say, "Oh, uh, a teacher shouldn't have a gun because they can accidentally shoot a kid when they get angry." You know how many times teachers get angry at kids? We ain't stabbing them in the eye with pens. They could do that. You know that, right? It, it ain't hard to kill a person. That being said, please don't do it. Listen, okay. The problem is not the tool. It's the misuse of the tool that is the problem. That has always been the problem. The misuse of the tools. Okay? So it, the, it's not the simple, oh, just take away the guns. It don't work that way. I could kill a person with a scissor. <laughs> um, where we at over here? Uh, all right, look, look, look. And finally, might as well wrap this up, okay? Um... Oh, 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 all right. We were talking about Diddy. Let me tell you this real quick, okay? Uh, the Diddler is selling his LA mansion for 70 million. Let me see what my time is like, because I, I feel like I've been here forever. The Diddler is selling his LA mansion for 70 million dollars, all right? I wonder, look, I wonder if that's the one that got raided. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the one that got raided. Yeah, it's the one that, I think it's the one that got raided, okay? Look, he bought the joint for 40 million. Now he's trying to sell it for 70 million. Let me ask you a question. When you get a new house, do you pray over it? 
Do you go to every area of the house and pray over it, holy oil, whatever you want to do? Do you pray over the house? Okay. Do you rebuke demons and spirits that might be lingering in the home? <laughs> you like, ain't demons in people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They be in people, but they sometimes they, they have preferences. They like to stay certain places. Don't you like to stay certain places? Well, all you are is a spirit wrapped in flesh and blood. You know that, right? Everybody around you is just a spirit wrapped in flesh. We just have the luxury of having bodies. You follow me? Uh, but, but look, 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 look. Demons, demons have preferences. You ain't read the demons ask Jesus that if they can go over there to the pigs? Certain areas they prefer to be to other areas. Some areas don't nobody bother the spirits. So they like to hang out over there, okay? You you mess with sage and um, uh, crystals and uh, astrology and horoscopes and all this weird stuff. They might like to hang out by your place. It just is what it is. I know, I know you're getting mad at me, whatever. I shout at your idol, whatever, get mad, okay? Some some demons are very territorial though. You know what I mean? They probably love that mansion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some of them are like, oh, you can't come over here popping that ish, okay? You get, look, you got to get with our program. You follow me? That's why you have like certain areas controlled by gangs and stuff like that. That's look, that's why you have whole areas of Atlanta that are a particular way, whole areas of the Bronx that are a particular way, Jacksonville, LA, whole areas dedicated to certain vices. Vegas. You know what I'm saying? This is what demons do. They they're territorial. Okay. So you get into a certain area and then now you gotta you gotta you gotta you know what I'm saying? You deal with that what what's going on over there. That atmosphere. Look, did he <laughs> did he trying to sell his mansion off the market? He's trying to quietly sell his mansion. So uh um don't shh, don't tell anybody. Okay. This is this is secret. Just just between us. Okay, on this gossip channel. You like the gossip, you better get a dictionary. Damn, my bad. And finally, speaking of dictionaries, Dr. Waka Flocka has told any Joe Biden voters that attended his performance to leave his performance, <laughs> to leave his performance, to leave his performance. Get that bread, get that, and leave. Uh, um, take a look real quick. Wow. Um, you know he endorses the Trumpster. You know that, okay? You know what? You know what's kind of good about all these um artists and stuff supporting Donald Trump and stuff like that? They're making it very easy to like. It's very clear. Things are becoming clear now. See, I, I don't mind if I go and I'm like, okay, um, you are this and you are that. The issue is, I don't like to go a place where they be acting like they one thing, but then they another. So I like people, things to be very crystal clear. I, hey, hi, I'm a demon. Hey, I, hi, I'm an angel. Okay, I like that. Okay, I don't like the sub, like the sub, what is it, subversion? I don't, I don't like the, the, um, the what? Subversion of subversive. subversive? Well, you, I think you know what I'm trying to say. Don't hide is what I'm trying to say. Okay, it's becoming super clear now. Look, when I saw that he told the Joe Biden voters to leave his performance, you know what I did? I said, let me go to the comments real quick. The comments is going to give me all kinds of joy. All right. One comment said, I hope he also refunded a $3.69 ticket. <laughs> I hope he also refunded them $3.69 for the ticket. That's straight out of chat to say that. Another person said, I ain't, he ain't been right since Tammy left him. Yeah, oh, look, a woman will get you right. Sometimes. Uh, Nia Too Saucy said, openly supporting Project 2025 is crazy to me. Yeah, y'all ain't heard about the Project 2025? Man, my goodness. Some people said, um, uh, Outing Spree said, people focusing on Biden's health when they need to focus on a race, race war Trump will create once in office. Okay. Defund Sean said, he's always been big and slow. <laughs> uh, I am, contr I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not going to jump in. You know why? Because if I bump into the man in real life, I got had no jokes. I am Kentravian said, and telling your crowd to leave when it's only 50 people is crazy. <laughs> is crazy, right? 
DJ E. Cl I'll go through all these comments. I will go through all of them. Okay. If you got somewhere you gotta be, just le just leave. Uh, just don't let the doorknob hit you with a good lord split you. DJ E Class said, I guess I'll take no hands out of my rotation. Um, somebody else said, Team Jamal says, I never liked him, but I'm sure the ticket was $2.13. Why they doing a man like that? Somebody else said, Sir, just play that 17 year old song and leave the politics alone. Somebody else said, This is the same person that said he wanted to go to college to major in geometry. <laughs> this is the same person that said he wanted to go to college to major in geometry. So this is not surprising. Somebody else said, Tammy dodged a bullet. Somebody else said, this is why Malcolm X said, we shouldn't listen to entertainers. Damn. This is what. <laughs> um, somebody else said, well, Trump probably promised him $4,800. He needs it. Uh, and then folks are saying, oh, your tickets are the same price as 87 unleaded. You got audacity. Hey, look, man. Um, yeah, politics will politics will let you see where everybody really stands. You know what I'm saying? And some people, um, I mean, my thing is it like whatever. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Um, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for Celeb. Oh, if I ain't tell you, man, Happy Juneteenth. <laughs> happy Juneteenth. If I never, if I didn't say that, Happy Juneteenth, which was June 19th. Okay, Happy Juneteenth. Okay. Um, and uh, what'd you say? Yeah, your oh, 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 they, look, 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 people's in the background talking about happy renege on your promise day. <laughs> happy renege on your, happy renege on your promise day. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source. I gotta, you know, I gotta go live, man. I got, um, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for Celeb News. <laughs>